everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today I am going to review Sea of Strangers by Lang Leave. And this book is coming out today on January 9th of 2018. So I will review this so you can see if you want to read it. Uh, I will uh, be trying um, a new series which is 5 minute reviews uh, for upcoming books this year. So let me know if you enjoyed this format. Sea of Strangers is a poetry and short prose collection and its main themes are uh, love, heartbreak, um, writing and uh, many others. What I loved about Sea of Strangers is the writing was very very beautiful. Uh, Langley is so very talented and she knows exactly how to write poetry uh, that is very uh, powerful. I enjoyed the prose better than the poems. I thought the prose was more um, thought out and uh, more uh, worked with and it was just so beautiful. Uh, the writing was more important than the form and you know sometimes poetry that's only there for the form is very interesting but in this case with the themes it was dealing with I preferred the prose. Um, I have a couple of favorite uh, poems from this collection and I liked Sea of Strangers with anyone else, Shelter, Writing, Keys to the Kingdom, How Much Love, Love What You Love, More To Me, and Wishing Well. Those are the poems and prose that I liked more than anything else in the collection. I thought they were more hitting and uh, more beautiful. What I didn't love in this book is just simply that I would have preferred it when I was younger. When I was younger, I had a lot of <laughs> difficulty handling my feelings and I was a very heartbroken little girl so I uh, would have preferred it when I was younger uh, so that's m my main point and another point I have is that it was very beautifully written as I said but the pacing and the order of the poems, poems sorry, was very, very strange. Uh, it would deal with love and heartbreak. It didn't make any sense and I would have preferred it to be, uh, you know, separated by teams uh, or something because sometimes it was a very heartbreaking poem and then it was a very beautiful poem and it's just, it was something weird that I didn't enjoy but that's something personal. It didn't uh, take anything away from the poetry collection. Another point I would have liked uh, to be different is that I felt like it was talking a lot to an old boyfriend or an old relationship and her whole self. And I would have really enjoyed to see her uh, in the state that she is right now uh, because she seems to be happier and I would have really enjoyed that uh, because it felt a bit strange for her to talk to her past self and I, it is very beautiful but it wasn't r relatable to me right now because I am not in that state. But I, overall, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars and I think it is worth the, the while if you enjoy her work. Um, I liked it. It wasn't fascinating and it will not be uh, memorable, but uh, I still enjoyed it. And I remember uh, last year I was not in a good place and I loved uh, Love and Other Misadventures. So, you know, poetry to me is very uh, related to the uh, time period in which I read it. That is it for my 5 minute review of Sea of Strangers by Langleaf. Please let me know down below uh, if you read any other Langleaf's uh, poem collections and if you did, let me know what you thought of them and if you didn't, uh, please let me know if you are interested in getting uh, this book uh, today or soon. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more of my future 5 minute reviews. Have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye.